Okay. Um, Idris from Saudi Arabia was asking about the toothpaste. And he says people say that it uh, uh, nullifies your, your fasting. And Maimuna was, if I understood her correctly, because there was so much air and uh, interference with her call, she says that she violated her fasting with someone, I think, through a fight, and she said verbal bad words. So does this void her fasting? The things that void your fasting, scholars say, are seven. So memorize them, and then you don't have to worry about anything else because now you know that these seven nullifies your fasting, nullify your fasting, so anything else does not. First of all, eating and drinking. So eating and drinking, anything that goes into your stomach, into your uh, stomach, through the mouth or through the nose, then this nullifies your fasting. Even if you swallow a stone, it nullifies your fasting. Secondly, whatever takes the role of food and drink, such as the IV, if you have gelicos, for example, that you can live for three or four days without eating and drinking, just because of this uh, IV is going into your veins. So this nullifies your fasting. And this means that if I take antibiotics, if I take uh, uh, Voltarine shots, if I take insulin, if I take penicillin, anything that does not nourish me, that does not take the role of eating and drinking, this doesn't nullify your fasting. So if someone says, if uh, uh, I have to take vaccines, does it affect my fasting? No, it doesn't. I have to uh, extract a tooth and the doctor gives me uh, what they call uh, tranquilizers or whatever, uh, uh, or anesthesia. Does it an affect my fasting? The answer is no. Thirdly, vomiting intentionally. I ate too much, I have something going on, I don't like it. I put my finger or smell something and I vomit intentionally, this voids my fasting. If I ate too much and I feel disturbed and all of a sudden without me helping it, I'm throwing up, I'm vomiting, this is unintentional, it doesn't affect your fasting. Fourthly, cupping, and this is an issue of dispute among scholars. So the most authentic opinion, it's safer not to cup while fasting. Cupping is having scratches and uh, slashes on the back of your uh, neck or on your shoulders and then extracting the rotten blood and it's a, he a, a form of healing and medication and it's good the prophet uh, uh, encouraged it but during fasting refrain from it because it's an issue of issue of dispute however uh, uh, taking samples of your blood for the hospital is totally permissible bleeding from your gum while the doctor the dentist is working this is does not affect your fasting try not to swallow it <coughs> what else uh, donating blood, if it wears you down and it's a, a, a pint or two, if in this case, make it after Maghrib. And if you don't have uh, the possibility to make it after Maghrib, then do it and make up for that day. Fifthly, ejaculation. Any person ejaculating, while well, he's awake of course, because this is different than nocturnal emission. What you suffer or what you have of uh, wet, what they call wet dreams when, when you ejaculate while sleeping this doesn't affect your uh, fasting at all but if you do it intentionally while awake by seeing at, looking at something or thinking or masturbating this nullifies your fasting sixth is intercourse and this is the highest of all and we spoke about the expiation in the beginning seventh is the blood of menses or postnatal bleeding these Two, if there exists, then the fast is void, even if it's seconds before the Adhan of the Maghrib. Now, if you look at toothpaste and look at these seven categories, you will find that as long as it doesn't go into your throat, you're in the clear. And for Sister Maimuna, again, verbally abusing people and, and doing wrong things or fighting, it's not part of the seven. So it reduces the reward, but the fast is correct. Who do we have?